meters and so, the height is 80. Okay, have you measured from four. the inside there? Because that's the maximum amount of space we've got. So the inside oh, edge, sorry. or a simpler way, is measure that. See this guy here? So what we'll do, sorry mate, it's across here. So grab the tape. Just while we're throwing out ideas, a microwave could go there and then a bench top. The amount of time we've got the external, it's good idea. We've it got could the be external, this one. yeah. But even if we kept that, we could just lower it, couldn't we? And like pots and pans could go down there. What have you found? What have you found? What? What? Wow, it's like it's, I think it's a strawberry. Wow, you hold it? Yeah. Wow! Ah! Well, you can get it. I get it. Whoa, what is it? Can I see? Yes. It's a rock! Wow, I think Nana put that there. Nana put that rock there. Okay. No, you can take it back inside. It's yours to play with. It's a toy. It's Evie's rock. Oh, you like it there. That's okay. 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 We're going to let another little Buddha, a uh, little Sphinx. Dad? Yeah. Hook. It's Dad? a Sphinx. Huh? Sphinx. Ify, what is this? Huh? What are we in? A new rock. New cubby? Yeah. Big cubby? Yeah. It's filled up our fucking driveway. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Daddy can't back it. <laughs> it's a little bit big. Bigger than Daddy thought. <laughs> well, that's interesting because I lost my shit trying to back it. Yeah, I think I'm very happy with it too. Mummy and I are happy. It need, definitely needs a few things done, but it's very nice inside. I don't care about that. Yeah, oh, good. Well, now this is our cup. Yeah. We own it now. Yep. Oh, you guys said it would be coming in like a week. Yep. From when it did come. So you know how you said it was like a few weeks? I'm guessing we knew, it, knew we could pick it up today. Yeah, we, we, oh, didn't we tell you? No. Oh, shit. Oh, that was an accident. I, I wasn't meaning to keep it as a surprise. We just, no, we got a call the other day because it's all done. It's all registered. So I had to take it down to the Fatty Way Bridge. For Remember? some reason, I feel like I'm in like the Bahamas or the Amazon rainforest. I feel like I feel like I'm in bloody the middle of the world right now. Well, that's our goal for one of our first serious trips is Cape Trib. Yeah, do you want to see a real rainforest? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Cape Trib. That can be on our trip, mate. Yeah. No rainforest in Western Australia. But if we go to Queensland. I thought you said rain of rainforest. Oh, there might be some rangers there. <laughs> no, there won't be if we go in the middle of the day there'll be no rangers because they can't go out in the sun.
So Mummy and Pliny, I just want your input into a decision. So this is how the bunks look now. So both bunks have almost exactly the same amount of distance between where the mattress ends and the roof. Okay, so it's pretty big. What I want to do though is put the ladder in. Obviously I need to cut it. I'm thinking about that position, which gives the best access for the person in the bottom bunk. It also creates a brace, or a, sorry, a strut for the bed, making it a bit stronger, and the door can open cleanly. So what I'm actually thinking of doing is um, either bolting it or welding it into that position so it stays there permanently, which means that it won't flop around while we're travelling, and it gives us a bit of a, a strut, which will make the bed even stronger, because this is the weak point along here. So, Flinny, I'd like your thoughts. It means that when you climb up onto the bed, you'd be climbing up onto that top bit, rather than here but I don't think that matters because it's still the same height. And mummy in terms of the cupboard. Oh, I might make a cup of tea. Wow, look at this cool bench. I'll just flip the lid up. That's amazing. Oh, cool. yeah, 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 that's fucking great. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool, I'll close that. Oh, that's the best thing ever. Oh yeah. And now look at the fridge. It's a bit dirty, but I'll clean it. You know, and all the aluminum strips down across there. Oh, it's completely sealed and it's bolted. And it's like strong as Good old funny button. You can do it, mate. Yeah, you go up too with boy. Uh, I know, Daddy. I know, Daddy. You can come up here. I promise it'll be good. And okay. if he falls, then I promise I'm not trying to make him. Okay. I was just thinking about that. What do you weigh? 28. Okay. If you get down, I'll get down. That's a bit of an allowance. Fine. We're doing an experiment. You'll be fine. Oh, shit. Fine. Don't panic. But if you want to hop down, that's fine. But it's it's. I've actually done it stronger than the 40. I put like heaps more glue on than it had. Not glue. It's like proper. Well, you should trust your daddy because it hasn't moved. Da, da, da. It hasn't moved a bit. Dear Radda, my name is Timmy. My daddy loves model ST4300XY Radda power system, but he's prepared to wait for the new model. <laughs> Can you please send me one? Love Timmy. You like your bed? Yeah. Which is your bed? Which is E's bed? E? Yeah. Which is your bed? Is it this one or this one? This one. Good boy. Oh, it's working. I'd say just hot enough for dishes, but no more. So you go over there and it turns in. That's cold. Turns the system off. When we go over to hot, it automatically triggers the system. Don't worry about the leaking water. Turn on. And the flame will go in a second. So what I'm thinking is it could live there if it was mounted on the side. Still may put it in the box. Yeah, where are we, E? Huh? Are we in Cubby? Yeah, it's Looks cubby. pretty good. Oh, no. Mummy's done a very good job of styling. No, Mummy got back in her and he's looking. Mummy, yeah, but look at this. It looks too good to sleep on. Yeah. Maybe I'll sleep outside. Yeah, he has. Wow. Let me check this out. Table. Daddy's tools. Very good. Oh, well done. What have you got? Wow. Got a hand? So are we happy? Huh? But he's got his laptop, so he's happy. He's got his iPad, so he's happy. Daddy's got his phone. 
and mummy's got maths. That's all right. Yeah, where are we? Huh? Are we in cubby? Yeah. Looks pretty good. Oh no. Mummy's done a very good job of styling. No, mummy go back. Uh -huh. Mummy, yeah, but look at this, it looks too good to sleep on. Yeah. Maybe I'll sleep outside. Yeah, wow. Check this out. Table. Daddy. Daddy's tools. Mama. Very good. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, well done, what have you got? Wow. Want a hand? So are we happy? Huh? Buddy's got his laptop, so he's happy. He's got his iPad, so he's happy. Daddy's got his phone, and Mummy's got maths. That's all right. Okay, doing a test after getting the advice from the hot water system lady. So water's on. So it either means there's a leak or the tap's not inside. Let's go have a look. I've got the hot water tap turned on, which is good. That's what I want. Alright, so already without even trying, it's. Oh no, it's gone down again. Alright. Let's drop that again. All right. It's very, very sensitive. I still don't know if I like it or not, but it's, if it goes, I think 52 is the magic number where it kicks out, but it doesn't stop and then feed back up, it just stops. So now it's at 51. That's the best I've been able to get it so far without it stopping. If we go inside, So it's a slightly lower stream of water, but it's 50. Right, that's, I couldn't keep that under too long. That'll burn my hand if I'm under too long. So that's more than enough to do dishes, I reckon. So I'm guessing that's two degrees off 50. Okay, so that should turn the system off and it has. Kick it back in, see what happens. I'm hoping when I go outside is that it's flowing and that it's heating. That should be around 50 or 32, so it's heating up again. That's good. Now it's just dropping up again. So you only get one go and it's fucked. Yeah, so this is the test that it hasn't, it can't do. So I had it running all good. If I turn the water off, obviously the water's gonna cool down outside. When I turn it back on again, I would want it to start flowing, which it does, and then it should trigger the thing and it should start heating up. Unless there's a, a time we have to wait between turning on and turning it off, but that's like having a shower, turning it off to get dressed and then not being able to use it for a while, which is not cool. So I don't know, it's been 30 seconds. So that's, that's warm, but I don't think it's being heated yet. It's quite hot actually. Let's see what's happening. There's no way that water is 22 degrees. I'm trying it again. Um, getting a bit over it. So 
this is a brand new set of Duracell batteries straight from the shop. No. So I've slowed down the water pressure. Let's see if that changes anything. It's holding at 41, 42. It's just too touchy. It's struck so now it's cut out. It's got to fifty, but it's cut out. It's getting up to 53, 54, that's great, but then it stops. It won't come back up. So I haven't ever seen it kick back in. Yeah, I'm not too impressed with this. Just filming this so you don't have to get up because obviously you're not feeling well. So this is the van with all its lighting on and working well. So the awning light is um, screwed, uh, connected, but not wired up. So really, I'm really happy with this. The lighting, lighting design is really good. Oh, it's in the park.
unboxing time. Hey guys, so um, as you know, we've been fitting out our new caravan, the Martin Rover, and been um, researching power systems. So I've actually spent probably more time than I should researching different options. I came down to the Red Arc um, Manager 30 system, uh, the BM Pro system. Um, Projector's got a good Bluetooth system as well, and there's a couple of others. So I've settled on this setup. So Mini Boost Pro, which is the car charger. Uh, you need that for cars with a smart charger. We've got a Pajero Sport that has a smart charger. The control node that runs all the, well, runs it basically. It allows us to run it remotely. And I'm hoping in here will be the J35D charger. So after probably an unnecessary amount of analysis, um, we've landed on this because it has the same capability as a Red Arc in terms of the, um, the power production and the battery management. But this guy here gives us a lot more functionality in terms of turning things on and off and better data. So I'm a bit of a bit of a geek and I like my information like that. So this will give us the intelligence that we need, I hope. So this is the system, as I hoped it would be. It looks as it should be. And it needs to go into here. So I've got um, just a temporary lithium battery set up in there at the moment and a power supply. That'll all come out. And here's our bank of 400 amp hour batteries. Each one is 100 uh, lithium. So see how we go. Okay, take two. I've moved the bus bar over to the timber frame. So yeah, obviously insulated properly. Now. I'll give it a go. Take two. Okay, I did my first testing came in here and something was burning and i've been looking at it for the last five minutes going what the hell have i done wrong so see if you can work it out all the wiring's fine just worked out what i've done wrong uh, this is metal the inside of the wheel arch and like a genius what i've done is i've screwed both bus bars in the positive and the negative they've gone into metal so they're joined so it's a big, one big massive short circuit but i know how to fix it okay here's where i've ended up so i'd already done as much pre work as i possibly could so we've got our bank of 100 amp hour lithium batteries along here um, the charges mounted against the wheel arch so i'll just sicker flex that in uh, it's actually stronger than if i could put screws through all the wiring um, all the positives and negatives from the different circuits um, are coming in at that same spot so that was fairly easy got a bus bar for earth so everything leads to earth and uh the, the positives from the um basically the battery in and the battery in's connected to a an isolator switch which is on the other side um the little node controller there and the dc pro there so now going to do some testing but pretty happy with it it's probably taken two or three hours to install that um a few mistakes along the way but yeah pretty happy with it this is the first test of the battery system, like a real proper test. So it's fully charged. I've unplugged the caravan and it's automatically turned on. Uh, it's nearly one o'clock, five to, to one. Um, what do we got? We got half the lights on and the fridge on and that's about it. So this is like, oh, and our, 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 the USBs and everything. So this is sort of real tight ass, minimal power usage. Uh, I'm gonna see how long we get out of it. Hopefully a few days. Hopefully. I did what? You did this inside. In the cubby? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Huh? See, so it's the green of the grass and then the mountains. Do you like it? Yeah. 